I'm going to show you how to build top bars for your round bottle beehive. These removable top bars will go into the five gallon bottle that you converted in a previous video and will allow you to meet the requirements of many jurisdictions that call for movable comb. Start at the handle end of the bottle. Place a five gallon paint stir stick over the top of the bottle and try to align the edge of the stir stick with the overall edge of the handle recess area. When you've got that how you think it should be, then put a dot on one edge of the stick. Put a dot at the other edge, repeat on the other side, and then use a straight edge and draw a line straight across on either side or approximate the shape of the bottle under the stick. Then remove the stick and saw on the lines with a hacksaw or score repeatedly with the box knife. You will make your life easier if you round the four corners with either the saw or the box knife. Next, mark the narrow end of the stick with a B. That represents where your B space goes. Then measure in one half inch from the opposite side or on the long side of the paint stick. Using a straight edge, draw that line a half an inch from the edge. That line is where the center of the comb will be positioned. I like to carry that line down the edge so that it's easier to check the alignment during the next step. Using the hot glue gun, run a bead of glue down the center line that you just drew. Take a dowel and put it over the center line. Make sure that you've managed to keep the dowel over that center line by checking the edges. You are going to reinforce this dowel a little bit with some extra hot glue under the curvature. Then let it dry. With our top bar back in place, set it on top of the rim of the bottle where you originally had it planned and make a mark on either side of the dowel. Repeat on the opposite side of the bottle. Then, flipping the bottle on its side, draw a mark straight down from the dots that you made at the edge of the dowel. Then mark down a half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Extend the dowel edge marks down to the three quarter inch line and if you're not particularly gifted use a straight edge to draw those marks. Next use your box knife or a hacksaw to cut down to the three quarter inch line. Try not to go past the mark. Also try not to hold the retract button on the box knife when you push down. With those cuts made, bend the tab inward. It should press in and stay perpendicular to the edge of the bottle. Then you're going to cut off the excess tab, leaving about a quarter of an inch attached to the bottle. Repeat on the other side. Your bottle should now look like this. Now you can take your top bar and set it in the slot that you just created. You can then make a mark on the dowel of roughly where to cut it. It's better to have it too long than too short. You can always trim it back later. With the dowel cut, your top bar should fit neatly in the edge of the bottle. Be sure to save leftover sticks. You're going to use them later on. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to attach the lid to your hive, so stay tuned. There are six bars in total. Making bars two through five basically repeats the same steps as the first bar, but the sixth bar has an extra step. For the next bar, you could measure the distance between the notches and mark the bottle, but unless you are very accurate, the brute force method will ensure a better fit. Just lay another stick on the rim of the bottle, aligning the long edge viewing down from the top so that it will run just along the edge of the previous top bar, and then mark again for our cuts. If you want, you can mark this with a B for B space to help you remember which side it's going to be on. B space will always be on the handle side of the bottle. From the opposite side, you're going to measure out your half inch, draw the line all the way across, and glue the dowel on. Add the reinforcing glue and let it dry. When you are satisfied with the position in relationship to your last bar you put in, you are going to drop down and make your marks for the slot. As before, you are going to measure down three quarters of an inch and half an inch. If the top edge of your bottle needs a little adjusting, this is the time to trim it back down. It doesn't matter if you have a little extra space between the stir stick and the bottle edge, but what does matter is where you cut the dowel bars. 
you want those dowels to be able to hold on for extra support and alignment. You are basically going to repeat this process all the way across the bottle until you have five frames installed. I like to number my bars to make it easier to remember which order they go in. For number six, use one of the shorter pieces left over from earlier and follow the same steps in terms of aligning the bar. Mark the four points where the edge of the bottle passes under the bar. Now if you want to get an accurate line on this part of the bottle, flip your bottle over and align the four outer marks that you just made with the arc of the bottle. The bottle that I am using in this sequence has the bottom cut off so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. Before I do any cutting, you want to measure your half inch marks because you'll have more edge to make an accurate mark than you will after you cut the edges, so go ahead and mark your center line. Cut the stir stick using either a box knife or hacksaw. If you use the box knife, you can make a nice cut along the line. Cut about five layers depending on the sharpness of your blade and how hard you push. Or you can make two cuts on either side with the hacksaw. Smooth out the transition with your box knife if you even need to. This is where the process changes. Cut a piece about two inches long from one of the leftover portions of the five gallon paint stir stick. Glue this piece to the inside of the bottle, centering it on the seam opposite the handle. Leave about a quarter to half an inch sticking up out of the bottle above the cut line, then let it dry. The sixth bar will no longer fit because of the piece that you just glued in. What you need to do is cut a little notch out so that the top bar will slide over that. Approximate where the bar will rest and mark two more points where this stick that you installed meets. On my bottle, that notch looks like it needs to be about 3 eighths of an inch, but you have to allow for the fact that you've already got a quarter in there, so you probably only need to notch in about an eighth of an inch. Start with that. You can make it deeper if you need to, but it would be nice not to have the notch deeper than it needs to be because then it would interfere with the comb at that particular point. Cut that notch out by using the hacksaw to make the short cuts, and then cut the rest of the notch out by making cuts with the box knife trying not to overrun the shorter cuts. You can see that this cuts out really easily. If you've done a good job with number six, it will just fit in your space with a little bit of play. Cut the notches in the side of the bottle as before, but realize that this notch will be considerably wider. With that done, you are going to cut off this last dowel like so. Don't stop the video, you've got another step to do. You are going to save yourself a lot of headache if you get the top of the bottle level. But the first step to do that is to make sure that you are working on a level surface in both axes. A link for these levels will be in the description below. The lid to your bottle should be a snug fit. I'm not going to mislead you. Getting the top on without disturbing your top bars is a bit of an art. If it's too snug, you're going to be bothered with the reality of sliding it over your top bars. For this step, remove the bars. You are going to secure the lid using a couple of small screws. They don't need to be very big. In this case, I'm using a number six by three quarter inch pan head sheet metal screw. Place the lid over the bottle, aligning the seam with the seam at the handle. Then pull the top down far enough that it completely covers the notches in the side of the bottle where the top bars rests. This is to keep the rain from entering where the bars rest. With that done, choose a spot that you want for the lid to attach to the handle. When you are happy with that, drill a pilot hole through the outside of the bottle and into the handle. I'm using a 1 8 inch drill bit here because that will work for the screws that I am using. Your size will vary depending on the screws that you use. You want that pilot hole to be centered in the handle and don't want it to punch all the way through into the inside of the hive. Once you've drilled the pilot hole, before doing anything else, make sure that this is good by attaching the lid with one screw. You now have one good attachment point. Put the screw top on the spout and put the bubble level on top of there. You'll see that it's not level. You might want to hot glue your level to the lid. Your goal is to make the lid level with the axis between the handle and the opposite end. Adjust the lid until you can see that it's level. 
This is difficult to do while filming, and it will be easier if you have another set of hands. Level your lid. Although this may take you a bit of effort to get this leveled, it will be worth it in the long haul. You are not worried about the cross axis yet. You are not leveling it. The only axis you're leveling is the axis where the seams are. When you get that level, drill your pilot hole through the bottle and into the stick that is glued to the inside. Congratulations! You now have a round bottle beehive with a removable lid and removable top bars. Of course, you still aren't done, so watch the video on installing foundation strips.